Hello everyone, this is Rosemary coming to you from Ansara Angels. This is a video about the Defense of Marriage Act, DOMA, which has been in the news today. And uh, these are people protesting for gay rights. Uh, today is June 24th, Monday, 2013. Uh, this is actually a, a video about how Illuminati magic works, how suggestion works to actually bring physical reality into focus and to become something that goes from an idea and then becomes physical reality. Now the Defense of Marriage Act, DOMA, is being toppled by the uh, Human Rights or My Pride, Gay Pride, Amnesty International people. And I'm not here to moralize, but I'm here to explain how Illuminati magic works and how the Zohar works and how we turn nothing into something. How we go from no matter and non-existence into matter and existence. Now DOMA brings to mind in a suggestive form, suggesting the dome of the rock. Dome of the Rock, Doma, Dome of the Rock, and of, as the as the Doma law is done away with, there's something sitting on the old uh, Jerusalem Temple site, and that's called the Dome of the Rock. And what's underneath the Dome of the Rock is something called the Foundation Stone. Now the foundation stone happens to be something that looks exactly like the western part of the United States. And this information was originally uh, put on the internet by Brian Camila at IlluminatiMatrix.com. We want to give him a lot of credit. This is, if you flip it, you can see that it looks an awful lot like in a pictorial form, in a symbolic right brain pictorial form, it looks like the western part of the United States. Uh, up, up, in, up in this area you have the the part that, that is Washington. Down here you have California. And, and again, you can go to Brian Camilla's site and Illuminati Matrix, and you can find out uh, he his whole site is dedicated to this. It's very, very uh, information. It's very rich with information, very educational. Okay, so this is the foundation stone. Now, in the Zohar, there uh, at the beginning of the of creation, uh, Hashem created a void in the exact center of of his being and threw into it a rock that radiated, you might say it's radi it was radioactive, if you will. He threw it out and down into the void that he created, according to the Zohar. And from this radiation emitted all the worlds. And it then lost mass. And it is said in the Zohar that it had fallen to earth. This is that stone. Uh, this is the foundation stone, the foundation upon which all reality is built. So, you know, they, you know, there, there is another uh, stone, the stone of Adam, but that, that's in Mecca. This is in Jerusalem under the Dome of the Rock. This is the foundation stone. Again, uh, please see Brian Camilla Illuminati Matrix. Very important information. It's how Kabbalistic magic works. It doesn't work through the left brain. It doesn't work through what you understand and makes logical scientific sense. It works through suggestion that goes, uh, you say, oh that's just silly, and it goes right into your right brain through pictures and symbols and things that sound like other things, words that sound similar to other words, uh, even if it goes through a different language. And it makes a suggestion to your right brain. It bypasses the left brain, the intelligent, logical left brain, which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And it, and it goes into the right brain, which is the tree of life. 
and it goes right up into the pineal gland. Or if you will, I'll, uh, I'll put it that the left brain, the intellectual, is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that worries. The right brain could be the forbidden fruit, let's say. These pictures of the forbidden fruit, you're not supposed to look at pictures or graven images, right? So let's say the right brain is more like the forbidden fruit, and you bite it, and then that goes into your pineal gland. Your pineal gland is more like the tree of life, forgive me, and that, the pineal gland, the tree of life, that gives you and manifests your reality. That's, if you will, the unicorn, the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. So here we have the foundation stone, and this is being suggested, the well of souls here. Uh, this is all the western part of the United States. Now, Brian Camillo talks a lot about a flood, the flood of Noah's Ark. However, in my personal ever-to-be-humble opinion, the flood of Noah uh, was promised, uh, you know, that it would never happen again by God, uh, by, by Hashem, because of the rainbow. Remember? Now, what's shielded by this rainbow? These animals. Okay? These animals that don't follow royal law, but they follow common law. These are commoners shielded by the rainbow bridge, the rainbow necklace of the goddess in old literature. In, in the patriarchal literature, it's Noah's Ark. So as you see, these things have deep meanings. And you can't get up to heaven unless you cross the rainbow bridge. This is the necklace of the goddess, the ornaments of the goddess. And under here live all the creatures that are common, common creatures that live under common law and don't have to follow strict royal law and get up into heaven where the gods are. That's how this works. And there's nothing wrong with that because you can live a very nice life. Uh, you know, you, you can do whatever you want. If you want to climb up these seven levels, then you climb up the tree of life in Kabbalah and you get to the higher levels. I don't happen to believe Illuminati magic is evil because it comes from the creator who was uh, he who said, let there be light, and there was light. Okay, this is Rosemary coming to you from Ansar Angels. Thank you for listening and watching. You have a great day.